Not to see Elitches is not to see Denver. Hey, it's Andrew from Park Rovers, and today we're at Elitch Gardens in Denver, Colorado. We are here on Saturday, May 6th, and it's a nice sunny day, 67 degrees, high of 74. I'm back by the entrance in the entry pavilion, and I figured I'd do a little park tour. This is a really nice entrance to Elitch Gardens. Once through security and your ticket scanned, you are in this nice pavilion. And in the pavilion, there's a series of claw machines. Looks like you can win Grogu. There's also an entrance to the main gift shop, the Emporium. And on the other side, you have gourmet popcorn, funnel cakes, Dippin' Dots, ride photos, rentals, and season pass services. So let's go on inside the Emporium. And the first thing I see inside the Emporium is the 2023 t-shirt. Looks like this ranges from 18 bucks to 22 for a 2X. There is a lot of different merch here, so I'm just gonna point out the things I think are pretty interesting. I really like this t-shirt for Commotion Ocean. This ranges from $16.99 to $18.99. These Surf Mentality long sleeve t-shirts are pretty cool and they run 35 bucks each. And you have a couple of different colors here. Here's a nice t-shirt, this is $16.99. Also available in navy. This merch line is really awesome. I like this magnet here. It has a little bit of history about Elitch on the back. And here's the coffee mug version. No prices on anything. There is also a thermos, a water bottle, and a pint glass. Here's a pretty basic long sleeve from Surf Mentality. This runs 30 bucks. And it's also in black, gray, and navy. Check out this magnet with some vintage photographs. This is $4.99. I also really like this magnet with the carousel horse that moves back and forth. And the carousel horse magnet is $6.99. Here is a six button set. This is $4.99. This is interesting, multi-purpose headgear. No price on this. These displays are pretty interesting. Tennyson or Tennyson Street Players. I'm guessing this relates to the former location of Elitch. So that's a quick look inside the Emporium. Now let's take a look at the rest of the park. There is no physical park map, but we walked in through the pavilion and currently we're by the carousel. This is a relatively small park. There's not a whole lot of information about the carousel around it, but it says that in 1928, John M. Mulvihill installed this PTC carousel to replace the original carousel pur purchased by Mary Elitch. And looking it up, it says that this is a fully restored 83-year-old treasure, 67 hand-carved horses and chariots. Just to the left of the carousel is the water park called Island Kingdom. This isn't open as of recording. And of course, Elitch has its own Main Street USA, I guess representing the turn of the century. The vintage looking signs are cool. The music does not represent the time period. Fortune telling on the fourth floor. Hmm. Dr. Bowie's pink pills for pale people. Ace Gymnasium on the second floor. Home gym of Brian the Bruiser Dodson. Not sure it's actually up there. There's a cool sign, John Elitch's hat shop since 1892. So on the right side of Main Street is more shopping and on the left side is sweets. We'll go in the sweet shop. And the sweet shop has a variety of items. These gourmet apples are $12.99. Oh, it looks like there's also merchandise over here too. 
I really like these Adirondack chairs made out of skis and snowboards. This is interesting. At the end of Main Street is Scoot, a cookie dough bar. So you can get various flavors of cookie dough. And at the very end of Main Street is the Basil Tomato Pizza Company on the left and the Trocadero on the right. The Trocadero is not open. I'm not sure what's inside there. Right near the pizza company, there's a kiosk for turkey legs. And at the end of Main Street, you of course have the Ferris wheel and the American flag. So I'm gonna kind of do a round trip walk around the park now. On the other side of the Ferris wheel is Kittyland. Inside Kittyland, it looks like there's a pretty nice play area. And also inside Kittyland, you have some games and some small rides. There is the Elitch Gardens Express train. And perhaps the most notable ride is the Blazin' Buckaroo Kitty Coaster. Here comes the Blazin' Buckaroo. Single adults, by the way, cannot ride alone. You have to have a kid with you. Right next to the Blazin' Buckaroo is where you can meet Sassy Sally, I guess? She's got a mailbox here. Also, this is the entrance to the Elitch Arena. That is all for Kittyland. Let's keep moving. Kind of in the center here are the swings. And there's some wildlife here in the pond below. Some fish down there. And the swings are called Turn of the Century. Continuing our walk, and I've spotted a teacups ride. It wouldn't be an amusement park without one. At the end of the street here is J.M. Mulvihill's Pub. This is an homage to a former owner of Elitch. Inside the pub, it looks like you can get buffalo wings, hot chicken tenders, barbecue rib tips, and ice cold beer. Back by the Ferris wheel and walking the other direction, there's a series of flat rides on this side. Here's another look at Turn of the Century. Here is the Spider classic flat ride here at Elitch. And of course they have a slingshot ride. This is an upcharge attraction. $25 per person to ride the slingshot. You can also get a combo pack that includes accelerator. And to the right of the pub is a stand called Beer and Pretzels where you can get a monster Bavarian baked pretzel and beer. Right past the Beer and Pretzel stand is a dark ride from the art collective Meow Wolf. Now Wolf's Kaleidoscape is a shooting type dark ride and it is entirely enclosed and features this character in the queue.
Kaleidoscape also has its own merchandise shop. You can buy these water bottles. These are $25. And this tumbler is $35. Of course, they have to sell a kaleidoscope for Kaleidoscape. I don't think that's working very well. And it looks like they have tote bags, t-shirts, long sleeve t-shirts, and more. I really like this long sleeve. This is 1999, has Elitch Gardens on the back as well. Also in the Kaleidoscape building is Goofy Face's caricatures. Just outside of Kaleidoscape now and we're by Mind Eraser. Mind Eraser is an inverted coaster from Vekoma. One of my favorite features about that coaster is the double inline twist. Back by JM Mulvihill's pub now, we are back by the teacups as well. And the area over here has a western theme. Here's a saloon. And we made a pit stop on the tour to get a Mexican lime lager. Delicious. Just to the side of the saloon is the food court. And of course, the Western theme continues inside the food court. I do need to stop for food soon, but those lines are pretty long inside the food court today. On the side of the food court, you have some carnival games. There's a water gun game here in the center. Also over here are the Sidewinder coaster and a flat ride called Troika. Sidewinder is a steel coaster that travels forward and backward and has a single loop. What's interesting about Sidewinder is you have to climb the stairs to board the coaster. Also over here by Troika and Sidewinder is Disaster Canyon. This is a river rapids raft ride. But there are no raft rides today. Disaster Canyon will open in the summer. And I just noticed Disaster Canyon is featured on my pint glass. Also on the pint glass is Sidewinder. Back behind the food court now and you have some different games and activities. Here's Ladder Climb. And if you go right out of the western town, you are back by Meow Wolf. Over by Meow Wolf and Mind Eraser is this flat ride called Dragon Wing. Awesome. Also over here is Accelerator, which is the other upcharge attraction. Now it's time to leave the western town. This area over here has some of the park's most thrilling attractions. Here's a pirate ship-like ride called the Sea Dragon. And right by the Sea Dragon you have Fresh Cut Fries. And across from Fresh Cut Fries is the Tower of Doom. This is 220 feet tall not operating as of recording and right by the tower of doom you can see accelerator getting ready to drop two other guests with a boomerang out in front and here goes boomerang
go backwards. Over by Boomerang is an Intamin half pipe coaster. This currently is not operating. There's also a Pepsi Oasis for some soft drinks and also Brain Drain, which is a Ring of Fire attraction. And according to this sign, it's a 72 foot loop on Brain Drain. Here goes Brain Drain. Also over here is Starflyer, which goes very high. And we're almost done with our tour. Over near Starflyer is a Tilt-A-Whirl. Behind the Tilt-A-Whirl is a shoot the shoots called Shipwreck Falls. Currently not operating. You can see the boat sitting there, just waiting for summer. And we're going to walk by the Tilt-A-Whirl to the park's marquee attraction. And here it is, Twister 3 Storm Chaser, coming summer 2023. This used to be called Twister 2, but now it is called Twister 3, presumably because there were improvements and it got retracked. This twister was based off the original Mr. Twister from the old Elitch Gardens at the former location in Denver. So that just about concludes our park tour here at Elitch Gardens. I think it's time to get some food and head out of here. And here it is, our food from JM Mulvihill's Pub. This is a Nashville hot chicken tender basket with Sidewinder fries. Honestly, this is pretty good for theme park food. Nice and spicy, not too spicy. And with that, I think we are done here at Elitch Gardens. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to Park Rovers, and we'll see you next time. See you next time, Elitch Gardens. Oh, they have pressed pennies here. I love the parking gate entrance sign.